Hello guys, welcome to CCNP Enterprise Online Batch. So this is the latest CCNP Enterprise uh, syllabus, which is being re released by Cisco. So we are covering two modules here. One is N Core, which is a core exam. Second one is concentration, which is advanced routing, which which is called as NRC. Okay. So let's see. Uh, let's go through the presentation. Let's see what uh, we have uh, here. Okay. So so let me first uh, quickly introduce myself. My name is Sagar. I'm CCNA CCNP uh, certified. I'm working as network security engineer. I have 10 plus years of network experience and my skill sets are routing switching, security, data center, network automation. Okay. And uh, yes, fine. And I'm also uh, a corporate trainer. Uh, I usually train uh, the students from various companies like Infosys, Wipro, TCS. So basically, I, I, I've been called upon to like teach CCNA, CCNP network automation. Okay, so so that was a quick introduction about myself. So let's see what do we have for CCNP. Well, so why CCNP? I mean, so I I believe you all are CCNA certified, and now you want to move towards CCNP, right? So you want to basically climb the ladder. So you want to get into CCNP level, which is a professional level, right? So why CCNP? Why, why, why do you think CCNP is required? So I have written down few points. Okay. So let's talk from the start. So let's say job availability. Yes, that is true. Okay. So 80% of network engineers are already CCNA. Okay. So there is a tough competition in the market. So you have to upgrade your skill. To CCNP as soon as possible so that you can uh, you, you, you can crack any interview you can crack any uh, job uh, that is you're looking for okay salary potential is high for CCNP uh, engineers because you are probably uh, a senior now okay you you are already uh, three plus years of experience or four plus years of experience so so company don't want you to be limited to only CCNA. Okay, CCNA is just a foundation program. So you have to go towards CCNP and then you can expect salary increment uh, promotions in your current role. Okay, regarding skill recognition. So basically you are CCNA uh, certified. Now you have to upgrade your skills. Okay, so under CCNP, we would be uh, going through multiple latest technology like advanced routing okay sd van network programs network programmability or network automation we have uh, vpns so this is why ccnp the latest ccnp will help you to upgrade your skills the next point is you will have opportunity to keep up with the technology right that is true because the latest CCNP is focusing on advanced topics, advanced routing switching. Apart from routing switching, you will be uh, going through the network automation topics like Python, Ansible. Also, you have topic like SD-WAN, VPNs. So there are a lot of uh, advanced topic that has been introduced for the first time in CCNP. Yes, if you know all this technology, your resume is going to be more powerful than uh, those engineers who are CCNA certified only. Okay, so the uh, the student who is just CCNA certified and the engineer who is CCNP certified. So basically, there will be a lot of uh, upgraded skills that you can include in your resume. Okay, the job growth will definitely. Uh, progress or definitely will improve or definitely you're going to see a lot of job growth because once you're CCNP certified you are uh, you can expect uh, core networking kind of jobs okay so you can see yourself doing the changes or preparing the uh, configuration plans or uh, doing some uh, changes directly on the CLI okay uh, and so on so advanced things which which a professional uh, basically the professional is expected okay similar way you can see yourself uh, eligible for advanced certification after ccnp you can easily attempt cci it becomes more easier for you to 
try cci you can uh, or else you can uh, go uh, go and do some other tracks in ccnp like security or data center okay so it's all up to you and yes you can travel uh, to different countries if if you are ccnp if you are a senior so basically you can can you can get a chance to go on site okay so these are all benefit for a ccnp a ccna guy is very least uh there's very least chances that this ccn ccna guy is being sent to on site okay so always a ccnp or cci network engineers are preferred well so let's go to the next uh, slide so regarding the prerequisite so in case uh, you been following uh, the new syllabus so there is no prerequisite for ccnp okay so there is no prerequisite but if you been uh, not aware of the latest syllabus if you if you are still following the 2019 syllabus so basically ccna was prerequisite to enter ccnp routing switching okay which used to consist of three papers routing switching and troubleshooting but now this has been absolute okay so we have uh, no prerequisite for ccnp a student can directly write CCNP. The, the, he has nothing to do with CCNA. But always foundation is advisable because CCNA is giving you the basic foundation. So it's always advisable. But CCNA is no more a prerequisite. So under CCNP, you have two subjects or two tracks. Earlier you had three. Now you have only two. So you have to do the core and then you have to do the concentration. Okay, so core consists of 120 questions. So where you will learn uh, regards to routing, switching, the design part, all those things. Whereas under concentration, you have optional papers. Like you can go with ST1, you can pick ST1, you can pick VPN, you can pick uh, wireless, or you can pick advanced routing switching. So you have multiple options. Okay. So we are going with a uh, CCNP core, which is 120 marks uh, or 120 minutes. And then for concentration, we are going with NRC. Okay. Where we will be reading about the advanced routing switching. So these are the two topics that will be discussed in this uh, course content. Okay. So, so I have written the same thing. There is no formal prerequisite you can directly uh, start with CCMP, okay? And the best preferred would be someone who knows uh, CCNA, who has uh, quite a good number of experience in the networking so that uh, the CCNP topics uh, becomes easier for such uh, engineers, okay? Well, the same question which I uh, thought of including in a different slide is ccna still required for ccnp 2020 no okay i can straight away start with ccnp enterprise i don't have to do ccna okay so that is a cool news that's that's a good news from cisco we don't have to uh, do ccna we can straight away write ccnp okay so this is something uh, which i wanted to show you okay so this is a uh, hierarchy uh, uh, the course tracks okay the, uh, uh, the hierarchy based course content so this is CCNA associate program okay which comes under associate and where are we we are over here under profession okay so under CCNP enterprise this is my core paper Okay, so let me let me tell you. So basically, this is the core paper under CCNP, which consists of 120 minutes. And the second paper, which is called as concentration, I have options. I can go with advanced routing, I can go with SD WAN, or I can go with uh, wireless, or I can go with auto uh, uh, automation. So I have multiple tracks. Okay, I would be covering up routing switching. I would be covering the advanced routing switching. So what are we going to learn in this 
course module is the core paper of 120 minutes and NRC, the advanced routing switching, uh, which consists of VPN, uh, network design, architecture, uh, which consists of 90 minutes. Okay, so these are the two tracks. Now, the good thing about CCNP is the written paper the encore paper this holds good with your cci as well okay so that is why it is listed under cci now you don't have to go to cci and then once again write written paper separately okay your ccnp core is valid for cci written that is why under cci written you see encore paper what about lab cci lab for cci lab you can take any one from this and then you can be cci certified okay so guys we will be also starting up cci certification sooner so let's first focus on ccnp because you need to build a solid foundation and then go to cci because uh, cci is for someone who is expert okay so someone who is giving the design someone who is uh, giving the architecture so you need to be very good with your foundation so so give give lot of concentration on ccnp okay which consists of two paper one is core paper and the advanced routing switching okay so this was regards to the track hierarchy let's move on to the next slide well so this is the official uh, ccnp page okay so what is the difference between the old ccnp that is 2019 with respect to the new CCNP 2020 okay so as I told you now CCNP the new CCNP has only two modules okay one is called as core which consists of 120 minutes and the second one is called as NRC okay advanced routing and switching which consists of 90 minutes your older CCNP okay your older ccnp used to be three different tracks one is route switch and troubleshooting now now we don't have to deal with three papers okay it it has been easier for us so i'll start up with this which is core paper and then we will move towards nrc which is advanced routing and switching advanced routing and switching and this is the exam code okay 350 350-401 is your core which is mandatory there is no option here and as an option you have these paper and I am going to cover 300-410 fine so I hope we are good with the course content okay what are we going to learn in this course okay so let's move on to the next topic right okay so what are we expected to learn in the first paper that is the core paper which consists of 120 minutes so we are going to read about dual stacks okay architecture virtualization infrastructure network assurance security and automation okay a very solid course for someone who is um, looking looking forward in the network career path okay a very solid and very good uh, syllabus similar way what do we have under that second topic which consists of 90 minutes okay so the nrc uh, the advanced routing switching is going uh, to be more on network design and implementation sd wan wireless and automation okay so this is once again a very good code so basically the 2020 ccnp is more practical okay so it's it's going to be a lot of uh, challenging course for us to get completed and uh, get moving on here yeah so this is regards to the official uh, <coughs> pdf which i'll show you in few minutes okay so for now let's move on to the next slide okay so this is uh, the certification uh, the latest certification for 2020 so we are basically dealing with the professional level okay and then we can move on to the cci so as along with that for the first time cisco has also uh, launched the devnet program and if you uh, are aware of uh, 
our batches so we are already started up with cisco certified devnet associate okay so if someone wants to have uh, the course enrolled for devnet associate you can uh, contact me one to one so i'll let you know about uh, that okay so let's let's be on uh, the ccnp for now okay so uh, we are here okay we are going to learn ccnp professional cisco certified network professional okay well so let's move on to the next slide well so that's all from my side okay uh, before winding up let me talk about the labs okay so for a lab uh, i'm going to make use of gns3 or evng and uh, the minimum configuration that would be required is i3 with 8 gb at least okay 8 gb of ram the reason is i'm going to make use of a uh, large scale topology where where we can see uh, four to eight switches we can see 10 routers we can see firewalls like asa okay so basically it is going to be a uh, three tire architecture with lot of devices okay because we would be doing uh, the technology configuration based on the real time scenario it's it's uh, it's not that just take two routers configure some protocol and test the behavior okay so that that's something which usually the institute do but we are not going to do that we are making use of the proper three tire architecture okay so just let me draw that okay so let's say i have two routers so this router connecting with isp1 and this getting connected with isp2 and then i am making use of uh, a switch okay uh, where i can have some hsrp configured and then i have uh, multiple routers let's say i have ospf configured so we will be checking out about ospf filtering ospf lsa um, manipulation okay and then this routers uh, would be connected with one more switch in distribution from distribution we would be having uh, multiple uh, switches kept in distribution where we will be checking out the switching technology and then we have all the servers or end users where we can have the virtualization topics getting covered up okay so some some kind of topology and we will be doing uh, the real time scenarios there okay so let me quickly uh, show you the syllabus copy okay so the syllabus copy of ccnp and core which is 120 minutes is this so the first chapter is about architecture then we have virtualization we have infrastructure we have network assurance okay all regards to ipsla all those things and then we have security and the last chapter is automation where we will be dealing with uh, python we manage all those things fine in regards to the uh, the optional topic that is uh, nrc advanced routing switching so we have layer 3 technologies discussed we are dealing with ospf troubleshooting we have vpn technologies okay so we have uh, dm vpn we have ipsec spoke to spoke dynamic neighbor and we have then network security dealing with all triple a server and all the security uh, concepts and the fourth ch chapter which is the last chapter here it consists of infrastructure services okay all your dhcp vty telnet all the protocols okay the net flow so basically this this is regards to nrc uh, <coughs> nrc okay so that's all from my side i i, I guess i have given you a brief introduction about ccnp and we are starting this batch in one to two weeks so you guys can get back to me and we will discuss about the timings and all other requirements about the batch okay so have a nice day and see you soon in the batch